On March 20th, NOAA's National Weather Service issued its spring outlook, covering flooding, drought, temperature, and precipitation through June. And after a memorable winter, I suspect most of us are ready for spring. However, expectations are that the past winter will influence the upcoming season. A cold and snowy winter in the northern plains and Midwest has raised the potential for moderate flooding. Temperatures have continued to be colder than average through the month of March, from the Midwest to the southern Great Lakes and eastward into New England. Deeper frozen soil and snow cover mean there is more water available for spring runoff than normal. Also, NOAA hydrologists anticipate minor flooding across much of the northern tier and the southeast. But fortunately, no areas are in major flood risk this year. In contrast, California just experienced its warmest and third driest winter in 120 years of record keeping. Over two thirds of the state is currently in extreme or exceptional drought. Some of the nation's most profitable agricultural lands are at the epicenter of the most severe conditions. Extreme and exceptional drought extends eastward into Nevada. The Pacific Northwest, Southwest, and Southern and Central Great Plains are also experiencing serious drought conditions, which were exacerbated by the dry winter. Looking ahead, drought is likely to persist across most of those areas and develop in pockets throughout the southwest and southern Texas. Improvement and in some areas drought elimination are likely in parts of the Pacific Northwest and the Midwest. The extreme drought in California contributes to the tilt in the odds towards warmer than average temperature this spring. When the ground is dry, the sun's energy goes directly into heating the air rather than evaporating moisture. Above average temperatures are also favored from Florida and the Gulf Coast states westward through the Southern Plains, Southwest, and northward into the Pacific Northwest. Alaska and Hawaii are most likely to experience warmer than average conditions. Odds favor colder than average conditions across the Northern tier from the Northern Rockies through the Northern Plains to the Great Lakes, partially due to the antecedent conditions remaining from winter. Elsewhere, there is no tilt in the odds toward above, near, or below average temperature. This is labeled EC, which stands for equal chances. Remember, for every location, there is a finite chance that temperature will be below, near, or above average. The maps show only the most likely outcome, not the only possible one. Indicators for precipitation this spring are very weak. Therefore, most of the country falls within the equal chances category. Below average precipitation is favored along the entire west coast and in the Alaskan Panhandle, with above average precipitation favored in Hawaii. NOAA's spring outlook empowers communities and decision makers to protect life and property and become weather ready and climate smart. From the Climate Prediction Center, I'm Mike Halpert.